Yes guys, as part of this session, we are going to discuss one more important operation of binary search tree. That is very complex if you are not focusing on that one. That operation name is delete operation. Here we are having many kinds of uh, scenarios. That is, we are going to discuss as part of this session, one of the delete operation scenario. That is, deleting a node which is having no children. In the sense, children means it is plural. So a node with no children delete operation in that we are discussing the first scenario let it be as a first scenario in that we are deleting a node which is having no children is what is the meaning of no children no children means it is not having either i mean it is not having left child as well as the right child so what will be according to this statement what will be the nodes which is satisfying this particular uh, statement this is one node and this is one node because this node is not having either left child as well as right child so that's why this node is not having that is a node with no children okay child is singular okay it represents child means only one node that can be either left node as i mean or a right node so we took this one as the children a node with no children so this is the node which is having no children and this is also a node with no children and this is also a node with no children and this is also a node with no children so as part of this session we are going to discuss the analysis how to i mean through analysis we are going to develop set of instructions such that it should be an understandable one to the jvm to delete a node which is having no children as part of this session we are going to see that from the scratch okay now so in my earlier session we have discussed about a very good important uh, operation which is called as uh, search why search we have to find particular element is available in the hierarchical data structure as part of this binary search tree or not which is a well defined one if it is available only then i should allow or i should uh, make the jvm to link i mean to cut the link of that particular node that's why we have discussed that search operation in earlier session in a great way right so we are going to use that particular uh, i mean uh, service also as part of this deletion okay uh, so let us see how we are going to use that thing wisely okay now so that's why i took this uh, avail and parent you know in earlier session we discussed about this uh, avail and parent what it is i mean uh, what those two static identifiers represent avail means it represents the node a reference that is thing that if i am going to search the node 9 so that avail will be having the value as 2 if you are not getting this thing go and press the earlier session based on such operation okay then you can feel comfort in this so that will be as 2 that is avail value will be as to and coming to parent what will be the parent for this particular node with reference to and a node with data as 9 so for this one the parent is this one that is a node with reference as 1 or a node with data as double 9 that is 99 so how we are going to use those things is very important and this root always represents what it represents the first element or the head element in the our hierarchical data structure let it be as root okay it depends you can customize that thing you can i mean you can make the root i mean uh, honestly speaking the first inserting node in the hierarchical data structure always acts as the head element or the root element for our future use okay and we should not disturb this particular uh, root identifier value because we are having things i mean uh, some more operations are there like creation insertion right so in order to traverse the all the hierarchical data structure levels we must have a cursor so how we can get that cursor if you are having at least one or the starting address so that we can traverse to all the levels right that's why it's a good programmer practice not to disturb the root identifier value for further use okay try to understand these and all some tricks of the analyzer right now let me go for the code think that guys in the memory we don't have this representation okay this hierarchical data structure representation is not available in the memory then what will be the root value definitely it will be as null right it will be generally a root value will be as null okay and after that we are going to discuss one okay let it be as first case and this as second case now let us discuss about this one so now this data structure is not available in the memory so root will be having or it will be referring a null which is the default value in the i mean if you are not performing any initializations to the static class level variables as 
instance class level variables jvm is going to perform i mean uh, default initialization by using the default i mean it will perform initialization by using the default values what is the meaning of that statement it is making root to refer null in the memory that the null will be put in one memory location so root will be pointing that null try to understand these and all some internal things try to understand these things basically okay now so let us go with from the scratch so root value will be as null if there is no hierarchical data structure in the memory so let us write a friendly statement for the user so why i'm using only here a selective statement called as if because i have only one option if it is equal to equal to null means i can tell that bus this is an empty binary history so you cannot delete an element even though if you are using a not service guys and uh, i'm sorry for this okay if you want to delete uh, any element right so before this i have to make you guys uh, notice of one thing okay now uh, let me put like this okay there is one more method like and uh, i'm i'm not going to discuss about that particular uh, method uh, after this discussion okay we are going to discuss the instructions or the analysis part of all the scenarios okay that delete i mean delete service instructions will be common for all these scenarios okay so let me put that one okay as part of this one so let it be as delete so i am passing the deleting data as an argument to the delete method okay now the control will come to this one okay from this we are going to call the not method what is the meaning of not not means nothing so a node with no children not means so that method we are going to call inside this delete let us see how we are going to uh, achieve that thing so let me put that uh, delete uh, here itself okay now static y del in data okay so let me put uh, this is not that frequently used code i am going to use this part uh, frequently so let me put it as not only okay okay now okay now so here we are going to use the delete service right i inserted the data here i mean i passed an argument as nine for the del or delete service let it be as del okay now let it be as so now which data i am going to pass as part of this session we are going to discuss only one scenario that is a node with no children so you have to pass the data as six and other two scenarios are there a node which is containing a child that is a single child that child can be a left node or it can be a right node and one more scenario is there a node containing both the i mean both childs that is left child as well as the right node child so a right node so if that is the case how we are going to delete a node which is containing left child as well as the right child so after that we are going to i mean we don't know which data we are going to pass after i mean uh, after discussing the instructions or after discussing the analysis of all the scenarios other time whenever we are using the delete method you can pass any data so our code is going to work accordingly that is jvm is going to perform operations accordingly so as part of this discussion we have to i mean we are developing the instructions so let us co uh, consider the scenarios okay let us uh, i mean uh, we are uh, like a technical person so i am going to consider this node only okay this all nodes okay by considering these nodes we are going to develop the code so after discussing all the scenarios to test it we are going to pass any data here whether it is available means it should delete it whether that node is containing a single child that can be either left child or as well i mean or it can be a right child or we are passing a data of a particular node if that node is containing two i mean uh, two childs that is left child as well as right child or in case if you are passing the data of a particular node which is having no children so it should work in those ways so that testing will be performed after developing all the scenarios so as part of this development we are going to consider a node which is having no children try to understand this one okay as part of our understanding and how to develop instructions through analysis let us see it okay now so static void deal so what is the case here definitely if uh, root equal to equal to null means what we have to do we have to intimate to the user bus this is an empty binary history you can't perform any delete operation right so i'm going to use from selective statement which is having one option that is if so root 
equal to equal to null means what we have to do you just allow the I mean uh, just allow the JVM to print some user friendly messages to the user who is using our code okay and just break the control of this service by using the control statement written so it is having written type as void that's why I put that one as written so I am not using any primitives there I discussed about this a lot in my earlier sessions okay let it be just to make you guys notice I am repeating it once again okay now if that one is not the case what we have to do so now I am going to do one thing so here after that I have to find whether that particular see if this one is not the case think that we are having nodes in the memory think that we are having this much I mean uh, this many nodes in the memory so now what we have to do first we have to search particular data corresponding node is available or not in our binary search tree hierarchical data structure if it is available then only you have to perform deletion because delete op operation here is very costly we have to consider many scenarios right so uh, let me put that one in easier way that is my task here to make that one as easier one to you is my main task here and main intention of this task I mean session is also that only okay now so after that what we have to do here is simply just such a particular element corresponding node whether it is available or not how we can do that one simply what we have to do as I said earlier I am going to use the search service here to find the particular data corresponding node is available in the binary search tree or not which is already created in the memory if it is so then only you have to perform deletion right I think you got this one right so no need to give much explanation for this one so now just call search operation just by passing this data itself okay now for this one I have passed let it be as triple line okay now triple line will be passed as an argument for the search method and that uh, triple line will be acting as a local variable I mean uh, local variable uh, refer data so it is going to perform of course triple line is it available in our binary search tree data structure of course it is available so now what will be the value of avail and parent see guys you have to be you have to be very comfort about this method if you are not getting this one please go and refer the earlier session okay without this we can't do any delete operation okay that's why I have discussed about it with great explanation okay now so what will be the value of so this scenario has been completed okay now this we are dealing with now after that what will be the avail value avail value definitely will be as 7 because triple nine was available in the node with reference as 7 so avail value will be as 7 so after this what will be the parent for this one see in yesterday itself I said that we are going to use the parent why parent means let me know you guys a later okay how we are going to use that one wisely I'll tell you how we are going to use that one wisely so now what will be the parent value here what will be the parent node for this node which is having the reference as 7 the parent node for this node which is having the reference as 7 is a node with reference as 3 so a node which is containing the data element as 108 okay